Hi folks, I'm going to have to ask that you ignore the glare for a little bit. Um, I originally had made a video, or made filmed a video, whatever, um, about a week ago. I was announcing that yeah, I did finally, in fact, graduate, and I was really proud of myself. Um, graduation was a crap show, and I'll explain that here in a minute. It, it just did not go well. Then, um... Uh, I was saying that I fell off the budget wagon a little bit and then I went back and thought about it and all the stuff that I had purchased because I was doing like a brief little haul um, all the stuff that I had purchased I had gotten myself with money that I budgeted for fun and then I stopped to think well why am I so worried about what people will think of my spending that I, again, that I budgeted for, for fun. And, oh, before I forget, uh, in the last video, I also said um, that I couldn't find or figure out where that 1040 went, and it had gone to my mortgage. I made a second payment, and even though the, um, the information was right there staring me in the face, I couldn't seem to figure it out. Uh, it wasn't in the budget book, but... Uh, I had a note in the book telling me to re uh, reminding me to put that in, you know, to, to write it down and claim it on my list there, and uh, I totally forgot, and it was right in my face, and I felt like a terrible. I mean, as a bookkeeper, tax prep, um, budget coach, that kind of stuff, uh, my goal is to pay attention to those kind of details. So I felt kind of stupid. <laughs> That's all right. Um, I had somebody reply to one of my old, and this is totally off topic, one of my old videos with, Hi, BBW, you single? So yeah, that person got blocked, because what the hell? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> that was bizarre. Anyway, so some of the things I had gotten myself were things to keep myself occupied. I, I am going to go back for my bachelor's. And go for my bachelor's in finance, but uh, I also um, am kind of disappointed at how my graduation went. So my graduation, they gave us um, they gave us uh, one size fits all gowns. So the morning of, I put this gown on and it didn't fit. So one size does not fit all. One size fits most I guess or all but me I don't know so sorry my cat is making a whole lot of noise he's on his uh, up here above my desk there's a little cat perch thing and he's laying in it watching the squirrels outside anyhow so that thing didn't fit I couldn't zip it up it was pretty embarrassing and then so we got to graduation and it was a drive-through I was in the driver's seat and I knew that I was going to have to swap with somebody at some point, but I was wearing the gown, had the cap right beside me. My daughter was wearing jammies because she knew she wasn't going to have to get out of the car, so she didn't. She wasn't all that worried. It's not like anybody would see her ever. So the volunteer came through, took one look at the car, looked me dead in the eye, and then looked at my daughter and said, well, obviously you're the one graduating, so you need to get your your regalia and my daughter turned to her and said but my mom and he and she stopped she cut my daughter off immediately and said oh your mom has your regalia and she's like no my mom's graduating and she looked over and saw me in my cap and you know with my cap in my hand and gown on so she's like oh yeah you're gonna need your box of um ropes and sashes and all that jazz and pins and all this I'm like okay whatever so we get to the point where we can trade places and um my daughter drives and uh, I've got uh, Jay in the car and my two sons as well so our, the car is packed and um so we get to uh the point where I'm supposed to hop out to where I can walk across the stage and the volunteer looks at me and goes, oh, you forgot to zip your, 
you, zip your robe. You need to do that before we can take pictures. I can't. I'm too fat. And she goes, oh! Hold on, that's my phone. And she goes, oh! Okay. And then she holds this ca this mirror up so I can check my... I don't know. And she's pointing, because I'm so short. She's pointing it, and I can't see myself. She goes, how do you look? And I said, like clouds. And she goes, great! <laughs> Okay, so I walk across the stage and they hand, through the car door, they hand my kids this book, this um, coronation, or not coronation, commencement book. And they say, um, they tell the kids, don't forget to look for your mom in the book. <sighs> like they have a list of everyone that graduated and all that. So we move on, we get home, we do our little celebration, we have our, you know, it's, it's just the five of us and we're enjoying time together and all this and we're throwing confetti in the alley. Um, it's that uh, biodegradable edible confetti stuff. So it's just made out of uh, rice paper. Basically just rice. Uh, we got it specifically because if squirrels got a hold of it or birds or whatever, we don't want it to hurt them. Um, it's just, and by the the fact is it was raining pretty quick afterwards so now we just have these little spots where you can see it's all melted <laughs> so birds and squirrels and everybody didn't get it after all but um it's degrading anyway so it's safe anyhow so we did all that and my kids are like oh let's find mom in the book so they, they look through the book and i'm not even in there <laughs> uh, so yeah that was great. Oh, and in my box with that was supposed to have my sashes and ropes and all that, there was just a pin and a note saying, sorry, uh, your ropes and things are on back order. <laughs> huh. Okay. Well, all right. So, um, then this week, um, last week, not this week, last week I had two interviews. Uh, the first one, is for a, um, what is it called, invoicing job, which it seems like I could do, but the volume that they expect to be done seems a little bit much for my skill set. But they're paying seventeen fifty an hour, which is great. Then um, I also interviewed for a position with a mortgage company, which is more along the lines of what I'd, I'd like to do, uh, or at least have in my arsenal of experience, so that uh, when I move I can work from home doing this stuff. The invoicing job um, has to be done on site, and there's a lot of walking involved, and I don't know that my arthritis will cooperate with that, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I do have a second interview for the invoicing job on Wednesday, and I'm hoping for uh, another job interview that I was told that I would be good for that should be firing off sometime this week, and that one pays even more than the first one. Um, the... Oh, what's it called? The... What the heck? The mortgage job is minimum wage. Because you have to start in the ground floor and work your way up. Which is fine. I'm happy with that. That makes me... Makes me happy. I can do it. And, uh... So... I would rather the minimum wage one. Just because it has the ability to move around. Uh, to move up anyway. And the first one doesn't have any movement, uh, plus the volume, um, and it, it's through a temp agency. The first one is, uh, and the one that I might have, the interview I might have later on this week, plus the second interview I have this week, um, they're all through a temp agency, which is fantastic, because they pay weekly, so that's nice. Anyhow. I got that going on, plus I want to do, I want to continue my education. Um, let me think what else. I had shared some of the stuff that I had uh, purchased. Uh, I got some coloring books and some um, bags to hold my uh, pencils that were all over the house and everything. But this weekend, I went and got a couple more things uh, just because my lanyard for my keys broke. So. I got the stuff, I got this lanyard, 
I hope you can see any of this. Plus this, live in the sunshine, swim in the ocean, breathe the fresh air, flamingo, little tassel. I thought that was cute. And the tassel came, or the lanyard came on its own, and I, I had the, oh, there was a uh, um, tiny little jar with a cork in it, and my son took that. He wanted that, which is fine. Then this was the tag that said, um, cat's losing its mind, live in the sunshine. That was right here. And then there's also the palm tree and the shell and a flip-flop. Then this is, had the other flamingo, that flamingo that was on that lanyard. Uh, use that. Got this set of bookmarks. Says the best is oh, the best is yet to come. Choose happy, enjoy every moment. Hello, gorgeous. Do a little good every day. I like that one a lot. And the choose happy, and the stand tall for obvious reasons. Um. Oh, and then the tassel. I have uh, it, the pink one was here and the red one, and I'm trying to think of something we can use this red one for because it's really pretty. And it's soft. It's really really soft. Um, let's see, what else is going on this week? Put my keys on my lanyard so I don't lose them. Um, had an emergency come up this last week, and I ended up having to use, I was given some, um, what is it called? Graduation money, and I ended up using that, um, for the emergency. I was given a hundred and I wanted to put that in income savings uh, but this just popped off at almost the exact same moment so I used 80 of that and I have 20 now so I still have 10 more bucks uh, to go and I can st start investing or I can put it to income savings I haven't decided what I want to do with it but Wednesday I have a uh, check coming anyway, so I figured I'll do envelope stuffing then. Um, I've got some pieces curing in the uh, camper right now. My daughter and I did some yard work yesterday. Um, there's uh, squirrels in the tree in front of me, so I was kind of watching them. We did some yard work. We've got just dead branches everywhere. My A lot of my roses aren't coming back, and I don't know why. Um, uh, one of my uh, plum trees looked like it got struck by lightning, but it's not even five feet from the house, so I don't know how that would be. And it, it's the tree is all black, um, and we have had some lightning storms lately, but I don't remember one hitting that close, and I would think I'd remember. Um, but the um, the bark is like peeled away, like almost tacoed away from the, the tree trunk and it's all blackened and the tree itself is like bone dry like what the heck um, and the tree there it's like a tree that splits apart and the one that split in the other direction that one's doing great but the one that I'm talking about split closer to a, a different direction and it's bone dry and the rest of it's fine and where the tree split that side's doing great. It's not bone dry. It's nothing. It's it's almost like it totally died up to that point. It's bizarre. Anyway, and then, uh, let's see. I got my certification done for notary uh, work that I want to do. Got that up to date. Uh, and that cost money too, but I had planned on that. And then, I've just been kind of. Uh, sitting around trying to figure out what next, you know, the the interviews are a huge what next, a huge part of what's next. So, I am making some progress and I'm happy about that. Um, I guess that's all for now. I will uh my next uh my next uh, video this week will be a stuffing video. Um, it won't be a haul. We did some work around the house, and we're almost complete with that, so I'll talk about that, hopefully. Uh, and my youngest got his permit to drive, so it's been a very busy 
busy couple, geez, busy week. Uh, the, the, most of that's happened within the last week. So, <laughs> all right, I'll let you go. Talk to you later. Bye.